एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई एम डॉक्टर नीलम सो टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग मेथड ऑफ वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर टू फाइंड आउट द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल ऑफ अ लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ सेकेंड ऑर्डर विद विद वेरिएबल कॉइफिशंस वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई एम डॉक्टर नीलम फॉर मोर डिटेल्स यू कैन रेफर टू द बुक फ्रॉम एस चांद पब्लिशिंग डिटेल्स ऑफ विच इज गिवन ऑन दिस साइड एंड लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स so we will start with today's topic that is method of variation of parameter method of variation of parameter is a, a method to find out the particular integral method of variation of parameter so it is a method to find out the particular integral of a linear differential equation and here there is no restriction on the linear differential equation of second order that the coefficient may be constant or variable so this method is uh, applicable to all such uh, linear differential equation so we have no restriction on the coefficients they may be variable or they may be constant so for method of variation of parameter we need to understand two things first thing that it is to find out to find particular integral particular integral and second is the prerequisite for this is prerequisite is that we need we must have the complementary function for the linear differential equation right so we need to have a complementary function already so uh, in our previous videos we have already discussed how to find out complementary function so you can refer to those videos for this to find out the method to find out the complementary function so uh, uh, in the in the last video also we have discussed about the ronskin so we are going to use that ronskin here as well so in the uh, so this complementary function will be written as ycx where the c subscript stands for the complementary function part and a particular integral part will be written as ypx where this p the subscript p stands for the particular integral the they are the two parts of the general solution of a linear differential equation of of any order so the general solution consists of two parts complementary function and particular integral so as we said that this method is only to find out the particular integral and prerequisite is that we must know the complementary function in advance so let us say the complementary function was c1 y1x and c2 y2x and we have discussed uh, about the ronskin how to decide the ronskin of a uh, uh, this linear differential equation so this y1 y2 have to be in uh, linear independent in nature that also we have discussed that means the ronskin which will be decided as the dis, uh, determinant of y1 y2 and y1 dash y2 dash so this can be simplified as y1 y2 dash minus y2 y1 dash since y1 and y2 they have to be linearly independent so this can't be zero this also we have studied in our previous videos so this much is the prerequisite to find out the particular integral of any differential equation so let us say that the differential equation was a not y double dash plus a1 y dash plus a2y and this equals to rx now in our previous videos we have made it very clear that particular integral is the solution corresponding to the non homogeneous part of the differential equation therefore rx cannot be zero it has to be either function of x and it may be constant also so this cannot be zero to find out the particular integral and we have already discussed that complementary function is the solution corresponding to the uh, homogeneous part of the differential equation so when we are writing down the differential equation in this form then and for which yc is already known then this yp can be written as minus y1 x of course then here y2x and this right hand side rx 
and divided by this W which is this Ronskin which cannot be 0 of course dx. So integration needs to be carried out with respect to x and then plus y2x integration y1x the right hand side that is rx which will be divided by w that is the Ronskin and this dx and since we have already discussed that y1 and y2 they are linearly independent therefore Ronskin will never be 0 therefore we are not bothered about this denominator here otherwise if this w becomes 0 then the particular integral cannot be written using method of variation of parameter though this situation will not arise because in that case we will not be able to write down the complementary function also. So, as soon as we are able to establish that the complementary function is y1 and y2 for a linear differential equation of second order, then this method of variation of parameter can be uh, used to find out the particular integral of any differential equation. So this will be the particular integral using method of variation of parameter uh, using a uh, complementary function. Therefore, the final solution of this differential equation, let me call it as 1. So, the general solution will be written as, so the general solution of this differential equation 1 will be written as, will be yx is equals to ycx which is already known to us and ypx which will be uh, calculated by this expression number 2 using Ronskin and y1, y2 and the right hand side of the differential equation. So that is how the particular integral will be written. So when a differential equation is given to us, first we will find out the complementary function of that which will be the solution corresponding to the homogeneous part and then we will use the method of variation of parameter for finding out the particular integral of that uh, solution, uh, differential equation. Now this is not the only method which is available to find out the particular integral but we will be discussing only method of variation of parameter. So suppose a differential equation given is not uh, is non-homogeneous. Let us say the differential equation if we solve this question. If let us say the differential equation is given as this one y double dash x minus y is equals to sec x, then in this one right hand side part is not 0, but we will make it 0 to find out the complementary function of this. So, if we solve this, then to write down the complementary function of this, we need to write down the homogeneous part of the differential equation. So, we need to write down the uh, homogeneous part of this and therefore, we will write down the characteristic equation for this which will be having uh, which will be a second order polynomial which will be having two roots and depending on the root the type of roots the complementary function will be written we have already discussed complementary how to write down complementary function in the previous videos so you can refer to the previous videos on complementary function so we will write down the uh, characteristic equation for this so that can be written as lambda square minus 1 is equals to 0 so lambda is equals to plus minus 1 so we have two values of lambda so complementary function will be written as ycx will be written as c1 e raised to the power x plus c2 e raised to the power minus x. So in this one, this becomes our y1 and this becomes our y2. So that is how the complementary function will be written for corresponding to the homogeneous part of the differential equation. Now this part will be used to find out the particular integral of the differential equation. So uh, one more thing we need to make sure that the method of variation of parameter is applicable only on different linear differential equation of second order because if y1 and y2 are there then only we can write down this uh, particular uh, the formula for ypx. If they are more than 2 then this method uh, does not uh, hold good. So therefore, uh, you must, we must remember few things about method of variation of parameter. First, that it is a method to find out the particular integral of the differential equation, not the complementary function part. Second, the prerequisite is that we must know the complementary function. And third is that it is applicable only on linear differential equation of second order. 
So we will continue for the solution of the different, this differential equation to find out the particular integral in uh, upcoming part of the video. So for more details on the methods, you can refer to the book from Ishan Publishing, details of which are given in this portion and link is given in the description box. I am sure you must have liked the video because we have studied a very complicated method in a very simplified way. So please do like, share and subscribe and press the notification bell for the notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.